I was born into a Jewish family, and all I had in mind were just unfounded beliefs. Just so you understand where I came from, today I already know that the laws of nature represent a true way of life, if there is a creator then they represent his will, because only he could determine them, they define everything. What is good that will cause health, happiness, and the environment, while what is bad that causes disease, anguish, death, or environmental damage. But at the time I knew nothing but false beliefs. So when all you have in hand is just faith, you will see what situations you might get into. I was told, there must be Torah, which guides you in everything that is right to do in life. Knows what? Even if you have to breathe, there is a law that if you do not breathe you feel suffocated and uncomfortable, and if so the law teaches that you should breathe, but they told me everything in the scriptures, even to breathe it is written, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And I do not know how, I checked the Pentateuch, and it seemed to me that the Pentateuch is fine. So I said, they are right, everything you need to know is probably in the scriptures, including the scriptures that came after the Pentateuch. So. I had some questions about this, I checked Maimonides' book of mitzvahs and found no commandment to eat. And Rabbi Nachman of Breslav also said that there is a way to live without eating. So I said maybe there really is a way to live without eating? And I had all kinds of questions I asked, and no one knew how to answer me. Even people who are mistakenly called rabbis, and they did not know how to answer me. So I was left with questions, in a way that my only way to learn was to experience for myself. If you enter the Torah out of beliefs, you will hardly be able to discover the wisdom of life unless you have a very difficult way I went through it, I started out of beliefs. I was only on beliefs and how will you live on beliefs if they are detached from reality? You understand? And so lacking in knowledge, with superstitions I began my first steps. So I said, maybe there is a way to live without eating? Because if you eat another creature it is perishable. From there I started, out of nowhere actually. And I saw that when I did not eat, my body was just falling apart, and falling apart, and falling apart. And I said okay, maybe I should be thin, until now I have seen full people, maybe I should be completely thin, and still live? I got to a point where I would very simply fall from weakness. I would lose consciousness seeing black and falling but I would wake up afterwards. In short I checked all sorts of directions, period, not too much. Once I realized that this move is not true. That you will understand where I came from, you see that today I am healthy, know that it is worth eating, know how to prove everything that is right. Any question you ask me I will know to answer you, but at the time no one knew how to answer me. I was just about imaginary beliefs, and beliefs? How will you live on beliefs? Do you understand? Until I came to one simple conclusion. It is impossible without eating which means the beliefs I had were wrong and they misled me. By the way something that is good, and is perfect, it also looks good and looks perfect, and looks beautiful, and smells good and with all your senses you notice that it is good. At the time I remember looking at myself in the mirror, I would look like a skeleton. Dude, it was all space. Space, my body was disassembled, move move I did not have the strength to lift anything. Then I realized that it is impossible to think that those beliefs were right, it simply is not possible. I would have a foul odor coming out of my mouth, bro, the smell of something dead, out of my mouth. I would hardly eat, what a bite of a banana and that's it. Then I realized, okay I cannot rely on the insightful beliefs of my predecessors, I can get inspiration and ideas from them for testing but not take their words as absolute truth. The Creator gave us logic, and today I have reached a state where I can prove anything, according to logical laws and not superstitions. So as for eating it is clear that we have a feeling of hunger, it is a law of nature that came to direct us to eat, and in fact I slowly realized that they actually introduced distortions to religion, and sold us false and vain stories. Since then I have managed to evolve and realize that the truth is right in front of our eyes. If one wants to live a meaningful, good, and fulfilling life, all one has to do is look at the laws of nature that are set in the world, every set has a reason, and if one understands the reason then one can achieve the logic behind any law. A sensible life can be achieved. And I'm not talking about complicated rules like speed measurement and stuff like that. Rather I am talking about simple rules that every little child can understand. I'm hungry, a sign that I need to eat, if I run and my chest hurts and pant heavily, it's don't pleasant to me, 
because it is not right for us to run too long distances. It is true that our nature can be changed, get used to running and then it will no longer hurt us. But any deviation from the basic law of life, it can cause the loss of additional life wisdom, because you actually run away from natural life wisdom and take on different and unnatural wisdom, and other wisdom may lose meaning from life and cause a dull and meaningless life or full of exhaustion and loss of taste. So in conclusion I have learned the hard way that ancient beliefs and stories of history or legends, all of these can only be an inspiration but should not be accepted as absolute truth. The absolute truth will be obtained from observing the divine and logical laws of nature that are at work now, and can be discerned through our senses, and therefore can be learned throughout our lives. So it turned out that I had to learn the hard way, and you can learn easily. I learned that I must trust the senses that nature shares with me, and trust the laws of nature that govern the world. The laws of nature will direct me to live as the will of the Creator if it does exist. But we still need to understand what the basic laws of nature are that I intend to learn from, and we'll talk more about that in dedicated videos. So going back to our subject I checked simple things like whether we are commanded to eat, I did not even notice at the time that we have a feeling of hunger, fruits do not have a nervous system because they are meant to be eaten. I also did not know that there are full of rules that direct us to eat fruit and we will also talk about this in dedicated videos. I was just in a blind faith, a belief that everything you need to know is already written in the scriptures. But I realized that blind faith can deceive you, while knowing the facts can only strengthen you. The ability to know how to trust the senses we all have, and rely on facts rather than stories or beliefs. I discovered that it is possible to have a very logical and tangible Torah. So this is friends it was my personal story, how I came out of the traditional fixed and sage religion, and discovered a better religion an interesting and sensual current religion, a religion that if there is a creator it really knows how to prove its will, and examine every act whether it is good and helpful, or bad and harmful. I feel like I'm the first person in this generation who really deserves a religious title. All the rest speak in the name of God and in practice do the exact opposite of His will. But if you too, like sensory logic, feel free to join our community. A growing community of people, awakening to know how to understand and succeed in trusting our senses, and trusting the laws of nature that will guide us toward a better future. Because we have hope that it is indeed possible to influence the future generation and reach full satisfaction and lasting happiness. In our temporary channel, we deal with all sorts of interesting areas. We will present here instructive natural phenomena. And we will talk here about a worldview that gives meaning to life and hope for a better future. If you are interested in this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of any new video that comes up. And see you next time. Writing and editing, Yohai Inan, Elhiyani. Source language, Hebrew. Translation, Google's translation. Narration, Microsoft Azure, Eric and Cora. There is no copyright on this content and any useful use can be made in whole or in part. I was the voice of Michelle.